Hi guys, it's Jake Kimuaz, aka Mr. Fabulous, joined here by my co-host Pretty. How are you, my darling? I'm lovely, thank you. Not as fabulous as you, though. Well, we're joined here by our main hosts. We got Simone and Mr. John. <laughs> how are you, guys? Oh, you're fabulous. Good to see you. Looking Hello. wonderful. So, guys, tell me, how important is an event like Fashion Collective London, and why have you embraced this event? Shall I start first? Go first. Well, this is very important because we are raising funds for our two main charities BBC Children in Need and the Rainbow Trust. Now as you know BBC since the 1980s raised over 600 million pounds till today so tonight we will <laughs> endeavour to raise that one extra million perhaps. Right. Make a small dent in it yeah I think anything is well that champions new talent coming through you know and supports whatever industry film fashion you know, someone who needs a, needs a kickstart and a platform to uh, bring their product to the masses. So, so what made you guys join Fashion Collective London? What was your main drive and your main purpose? My main purpose was uh, meeting Ahmed and his sister and meeting uh, the young boy as well. He's, you know, he's been in the wheelchair the last couple of years. So I was just talking about what story. And I want to make a documentary about powering women as well. And she's putting herself through fashion school whilst having a really ill son. So it's a massive accolade to women stand up and doing it for themselves. You know, I think a lot of families, a lot of people, you know, this cause really rings true and it, it rings very close home. So. Uh, Ahmad and Hira and, 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 and her son are definitely, they're my heroes, they're heroes. For, for, for doing everything that they are doing and also showcasing the unknown designers or perhaps even coming designers, just giving them platform. I think it's something absolutely fabulous and this is why we're here for it. Pretty, Amazing. I'm sure you've got some questions. Yes, absolutely. You guys are obviously role models for a lot of people out there and to have you here... <laughs> Tough girl to, move, to, to live up to. And there's, there's a lot of young fashion designers here today and they're looking up to everyone that's had experience in the industry, in the media industry and bringing charities together. I mean, what do you take from today? What, what do you want to tell young people today about themselves that they can do anything or what do you want to inspire them with? Well, what I've seen today and over the last few months is you can make the impossible possible as long as you start, you know, Absolutely. that is the truth. Whatever you want to do starts tomorrow, starts today, you can do it. There's, I've seen this come from just an idea in Ahmed's head to, to today, you know, it's like massive. And believe in your dreams. Do not think about the obstacles. We all have obstacles in the way. Visualize, dream big. Don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do it, that you are lesser than the other because you're not. We are all equal and just go for it. Absolutely. Do it. That's amazing, exactly. Just do it. That's encouragement right there. Thank you. We look so forward much. to having a lot of you on stage. One more last thing, guys. If you had to describe yourself in one word, what would that be? Oh, it's uh. easy for you to say because you're fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I never give up. So tenacious, tenacity. Tenacity. Yeah. Determined. Determined. Guys, I want you to look straight into camera and give me your joint best pout or pose. <laughs> Zoolander. Guys, our hosts for the evening, nice to meet Simone you. and John. Thank you.